we continue to hear about all these ways that ketamine is useful and a question arises is ketamine a silver bullet is it some sort of magical cure and the short answer is of course no uh, but a more nuanced answer is sort of There are some conditions for which ketamine can be a silver bullet for, for some people. Depression, for example, there are some people that it can just be miraculous. But even for that condition, it's not everyone who has depression that it is a silver bullet for. Most of the time, it takes you some steps forward in your mental health journey, and there's still more to learn, but it, it does help. And it does help in ways that often other types of treatments have not been able to help in the past. And this is a discussion that uh, revolves around this new class of medications, or we could also say ancient class of medications, of psychedelics, and specifically psychedelics in the context of psychotherapy. In combination, these two have a different class of outcomes and benefits than any other type of medication class that we have yet. For some conditions, it can seem miraculous, the outcomes that are available with ketamine therapy and other psychedelic therapies in comparison to older treatments. But that's because they work so differently than older types of treatments. And so we might not call it a miracle, so much as just a different way of working with the human psyche. And of course, for those who are more spiritually minded, a miracle uh, could always be applied to any sort of um, huge leap in health. There are two properties of ketamine I would like to dive into in order to kind of share about why it's so different from other medications. And the first is something called neurosynaptogenesis. Because psychedelics seem to be helpful in such a wide variety of psychiatric conditions, this has begun uh, to lead to different theories to try and understand what's an underlying mechanism between many different types of mental illnesses. And one is an underlying rigidity in the brain and mind. And what neurosynaptogenesis is, is it's the ketamine allows for new connections between neurons to be made more quickly and in an easier way to interrupt old kind of rigid patterns and to open available patterns for new creative types of thinking and feeling. In other words, it makes your brain more flexible and open. And so this would directly counteract any rigidity that uh, has begun to set in from any pathology in the brain or in your psyche that has set in over many, many years. Sort of a, a natural counter to that. This is one theory that's emerging that's attempting to explain what we're seeing in the helpfulness of psychedelic therapies and in this case ketamine therapy. The second explanation I'd like to give has to do more with the experience itself and the word psychedelic comes from a Latin root, which basically means manifesting mind. As your mind is revealed to you, both subconscious structures and unconscious structures, you begin to learn more about yourself. And something that we've begun to call the inner healing intelligence begins to kick in. What is the inner healing intelligence? Well, this is similar to if you cut your hand and uh, Maybe you go to the doctor, maybe you wash it out, maybe you put some anti-infectant in it, maybe you put a band-aid on it and you create the conditions for it to heal, but ultimately your body knows what it needs to do to heal. And so your body is naturally taking care of all the things that are needed. And there's a similar thing in your mind. There's a natural movement towards wholeness and well-being. And as psychedelics amplify the different parts of the mind, it also amplifies this inner healing intelligence, which almost guides the way and leads back towards wholeness. And it sounds crazy and amazing, but as a ketamine therapist in my weekly life, 
uh, I see this over and over again. My colleagues report this over and over again. People finding their way and this sort of natural process of well-being emerging in folks who are doing ketamine, in most of them. But looking at it from this perspective, that begins to not be so mysterious. It makes sense that if the inner healing intelligence is being amplified in the help of a therapeutic process with a therapist who knows what they're doing, then it makes total sense that people are getting better. This is, of course, on an individual basis, person to person, uh, condition to condition, and even psychedelic to psychedelic, as different psychedelics treat different conditions um, in more or less effective ways. And one person might need many more treatments than another person. There are individual differences that we're still studying and learning. There's different psychedelics that we're studying and learning and for different psychiatric conditions. There are so many studies going on now and so many more in the future that are yet to come. We are so early when it comes to this type of research and we're gonna be continuing to dive deeply into this and stay tuned in this channel as we continue to share with you all the amazing things that research is coming out with. It's an exciting time to be alive. Together, we have so much more knowledge. Share your wisdom with the community and comment. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you want more psychedelic therapy content. And may your journey be blessed with guidance, protection, and strength.